Despite various struggles, at the very beginning of World War II, the French Air Force was among the most advanced in the world. Between the 30s and 40s, the French engineers created quite a few fighters and bombers that weren't just to the standard of the best foreign designs, but surpassed them in one way or another, staying in service and in production for many years. Low in numbers, and with an outdated organizational structure, the French Air Force still gave the Luftwaffe a run for its money. After the Battle of France was lost, the surviving personnel fought valiantly as free French fighters or as a part of the armies of other Allied nations right up until the capitulation of Germany and the liberation of their own country. Right off the bat, at rank number one, there are some pretty unusual vehicles waiting for us. It's already surprising to see the monoplane fighters this low in the tech tree. But that's not all. The D-501, the D-510, and the D-371 HS-9 also came equipped with 20mm Hispano 404 cannons, a luxury in rank 1 battles. They don't have much ammo, only 60 rounds, but that's more than enough to deal with 3 or 4 of the enemy. Think that's it? <laughs> nope. There's another surprise in the form of the MC-233 Heavy Bomber. It can carry almost five tons of bombs, a respectable bomb load even much later in the game. It won't do much against tanks, but it performs really well in air battles. This French giant not only destroys everything in the bomb site, but also has no problem fending off enemy fighters with its defensive turrets. If you're fond of mixed battles, consider using another Rank 1 aircraft, the BR-693 AB-2 Attacker. It might not look like much, but it can carry eight 50 kilogram bombs. That's not an impressive thing on its own, but if you're good at dropping them, you can get a frag with every single one of those bombs. And if there are enemy fighters in the air, you have a 20 millimeter cannon with 90 rounds to defend yourself with. Then we ascend to the second era. Here, we suggest you take a good look at Portez 631 fighter. It's armed with powerful cannons and it spawns in the air, making it a big threat to enemy bombers. Furthermore, it can carry a couple of 100 kilogram bombs that make short work of enemy tanks. In the premium part of the tech tree at rank two, there is a fighter aircraft that a lot of players like the P-40F-5 Lafayette. It's armed with six high-caliber Browning machine guns, and it flies pretty damn well. Furthermore, the aircraft can carry a few bombs, one 500-pound bomb and two 100-pounders. If that's not enough to quench the opposition on the ground, remember that you have access to pretty good AP rounds, capable of piercing up to 26 millimeters of steel. Another interesting fighter available here is the VG-33C-1. It's armed with a 20mm cannon that you've already seen in action at rank 1, and four machine guns mounted in its wings. That's enough firepower to be a serious threat to enemy flyers, and the fighter handles really well in a dogfight. At rank 3, we get the MB-157, a true predator of the skies. It's fast, flies like a dream, and comes with a couple of wing-mounted cannons that make short work of enemy fighters. Basically, the only distinct flaw it has is that you have to make do with only 120 rounds of ammunition. If you don't like being stingy with your bullets, then the next aircraft is just perfect for you. It is the P-47D-22RE the legendary American fighter armed with eight high-caliber Browning machine guns that can shred a target of any size. Given the Thunderbolt's amazing survivability, it's also very effective in head-on engagements. Furthermore, the aircraft can carry a very respectable bomb load, two and a half thousand pounds worth of bombs to be exact, and that's more than enough to send at least a few tanks back to their owner's hangars. 
If you fancy something that's on a heavier side, look no further than the MB-175T. This twin-engine torpedo bomber has several aces up its sleeve, including a hard-hitting armament of two 20mm cannons and in a defensive turret housing, yet another 20mm MG-151 cannon. They can use powerful HE shells that easily blow any plane to smithereens. And this bomber also spawns in the air, allowing you to be very aggressive from the get-go. Obviously, there is also the P-63C-5, even a grazing bite from the King Cobra's powerful 37mm cannon will wreck almost anything you see in your sights. And if you run into an agile opponent that's hard to hit with your main gun, there are always four reliable 12.7mm machine guns at your disposal. Furthermore, the King Cobra can carry up to three 500-pound bombs. <laughs> Tanks beware! Rank 4 gives us an unusual twin-boom, pusher-configuration fighter aircraft, the SO-8000 Narval. It's not all just sleek looks, though. You get six 20mm MG-151 cannons, all fitted in the nose, allowing the aircraft to perform really well in both a flyby and in head-on engagements. And if you're into mixed battles, this strike fighter has access to both bombs and rockets. When it comes to hunting ground targets, though, the Narval can't hold a candle to the majestic AD-4 or the F-4U-7. Each of those can destroy half of the enemy team on the ground solo and then give enemy fighters a hell of a fight. Naturally, we also simply have to mention one of the most versatile aircraft in War Thunder. Say hi to the F-8F-1B Bearcat. The winner of the recent triathlon for the highest performance piston engine fighters. Amazing speed, great climb rate, excellent maneuverability, and a lot of firepower. <laughs> That's a pilot's wet dream. Rank 5, here we come. In this era, the French have one of the fastest jet bombers in the game the SO-4050 Vautour. It's so fast, in fact, that you'd be excused for thinking that it's a fighter aircraft. Furthermore, the 2A variant of the Vautour is armed with four 30mm cannons, a respectable armament to say the least, not to mention that it also hauls up to 7,500 pounds of bombs. At the top of the fifth era, we find the MD-452 Mystère 2C a fighter sticking out of the crowd thanks to its serious firepower. It's armed with two excellent 30mm DEFA cannons that come with 300 rounds. If you're planning to hunt some tanks, don't forget to pack SNAB rockets. We finally reached the sixth era, and here the French are all about versatility. Take a look at the Super Mystère B2, or the Etendard IVM, for example. Both fighters perform really well in air-to-air -air combat, but have a lot of payload options as well, including air-to-surface missiles. Enjoy flying American or British aircraft? Well, at rank 6, you get access to the F-100D Super Sabre and the Jaguar A. Great performance, powerful armament, lots of ammo. Basically, these aircraft can do well in any combat situation. At the very top, there is the fearsome beauty, the Mirage 3C. Fast, deadly, stunning. Its delta wing configuration allows it to be very maneuverable and has access to advanced AAMs featuring both IR seeker and radar guided missiles. Your enemies won't be getting away. The French aviation industry had quite a few triumphs and saw a fair share of failures. There were breakthroughs, there were mistakes. But all of that was necessary to create some stunningly beautiful birds of steel. What is your favorite French aircraft? Do tell us in the comments below, we're hungry for your info. Rank 5 